Um, neither one of us are going to be. Neither one of us are Christian, but uh, you want to do uh, honestly for the. Ho you have anything you like recommend people get for the holidays? Well. Sure, Christmas uh, ha has Christian roots, but let's be clear. My wife's from Guatemala. They don't. They don't even believe in Santa Claus. Okay. Um, they celebrate Christmas on the twenty on the twenty fourth, the night of, and they literally uh, thank Jesus for uh, the gifts and, and good blessings. There's no Santa Claus. So let's be real. The United States, because the United States is so diverse. <laughs> that we were that that the Occupy Wall Street protesters could not start protesting Christmas in the United States because it, would, it essentially is an invention of capitalism uh, that has drastically helped our economy and employed many people uh, seasonally. I'll bet, but um, it, it, we have to make a secular, which Santa Claus is, uh, medium. For this to exist, and, and I don't think it's a bad thing. I mean, it, I, I don't think it's a bad thing either. And I could give a whole his, I could give a whole history at Christmas, but I wasn't gonna go down that road because this is the time we're supposed to be setting all that stuff aside. <laughs> time, yeah. What's wrong with having a time to say I'm gonna give to my, my family and friends, and there's a day where I guess one. Hey, okay, but we have to be very clear. There are countries that are really are entrenched in the Christian concept of Christmas. And now there's very many Christian followers in the United States that don't buy Christmas trees and have X, Y, and Z because they are also doing the same entrenching. But Santa Claus, Frosty, much of it. I don't Those think are the right. devil! <laughs> <laughs> Santa's the devil! But <laughs> many more people can participate in the very uh, let's just say, because even atheists, it's, I guess it's ridiculous to say that, that, um, uh, what, what's the word, being, um, altruistic, is that the right word to use, the alt altruistic, um, it is, is solely owned by those that, that have a faith in, in some sort of God or dogma. I think that, uh, uh, being a good person and giving, if it takes a, a dude on a sleigh with seven reindeer, uh, <laughs> eight. Me, There's eight reindeer. Nine eight, if you count eight, Rudolph. <laughs> uh, eight reindeer. Uh, Come on, these uh, things are important. <laughs> to pay in, in giving, then fantastic, man. But, you know, it's like because I, I can clearly see you know, people that come back and try to all over Christian. No. My wife comes from a country where it is partly a Christian concept. Christmas is nothing but a Christian concept there. There is no snowman. There is no reindeer landing on roofs. There is no magical chickens expanding and zip coming out. Uh, there is no Whoville. No Whoville? <laughs> There is only no flim flammers and boot jangs? No roast? Whatever the hell it was? How yep. dare they? <laughs> only the thanks of uh, the blessings that Jesus gives to the people that believe in Jesus in the world. And, 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 and I can, because I've observed it many times and that's it. So, no. While we try to whitewash things in this country. It's fun. You know what? Embrace your shit. I don't know why people have to make things so damn segmented. Just embrace it's a good thing. People give shit. Does it matter? I, uh, I, I, you know, I could comment on that, but I was asking more in like gifts or recommendations or stuff rather than getting off on the whole, on, on the I, whole. I, well, you started getting philosophical. Oh no, I, I just made a, well, I made a quick comment and I'm like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> I've been a heathen, how dare I? <laughs> well, you know, but you know what? Hey, even, 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 uh, some of my fellow Jews did with the Hanukkah bush. Oh my God, it's uh, <laughs> It's like, it doesn't need to compete. You know what? Hey, you know what? A Hanukkah bush and a Yule log. There you go, yeah. man. You're set. Trade ball, trade ball, trade ball, trade ball. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, so, so, so the, thing, the thing of it is that, what are we going to recommend? Well, you 
know what I recommend? Get get a landline phone. What? Yeah. Get like uh if if you get rid of that like that just get a landline phone, trust me, because um this is very long term and it could be wrong. But I feel that that, that same congestion is going to get worse in the United States. So uh, I feel that having a landline is going to offset the problem that Wi-Fi savings are going to have in, in the coming United States because I think there's going to be a price problem that's coming up. So I think buying a landline will guarantee you at least an alternative means for uh, buying all the iTunes music you want or downloading all those damn Android apps that you want, whatever. Um, and you have a surefire way of it, of, it, of it transmitting because the land infrastructure is not going anywhere in the United States for very long. Wait, wait, do you do you mean land phone line or land like internet line? Like whatever. It's still it's, if you have a land line, the land unless you're Verizon FiOS, where they do bring fiber to you. Yeah, I'm gonna say I think with the exception of FiOS. All uh, all home internet is what? is land based. It's either cable or DSL. Just do yourself and get something to land. Uh, well, actually, that's not true. Cables. I know. Oh no no oh. Uh, okay. I I, I I I thought you were saying land. Yeah, local area. Yeah, y y you're right. Because most cable is WAN. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean LAN. What am I saying? What are, did I say something wrong? You said land, I thought. Like, you, you, I, well, I, land, whatever. Yeah, and they, yeah. I mean, but a land line is in the ground. Whatever. You know, a hard, a hard line, a hard line. And because the infrastructure, that infrastructure has been converted already in, in many aspects in the United States. Now, this has nothing to do with European viewers, because I don't even know what the hell they have there over there across the pond, or in Asia, or whatever. However, where do our viewers come from? I, I don't. I can't speak for for what your coming from. So, for if you're in the United States, it's well, we country. had some in Israel till they unsubscribed. <laughs> I didn't subscribe. We had Israeli followers. Uh, let me see. I was here. Hold on. I was here in. Uh, let me see. Wait, wait, uh, let me. I can tell you. Looking at our uh, ge uh, demographics ge uh, geographically. Uh, yada yada uh, community. <sighs> yeah, let me see, subscribers. Yeah, we had some people who were, but they un, uh, uh, but the Israelis, we've had some unsubscribing from Israel. Uh, our demographics are United States. Um, oh, uh, community. We're largely United States. Uh, second largest is United Kingdom. For some reason, we're our third is the Netherlands. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Then Iceland, Australia, and then it just kind of drops off. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, well, all right. So let's talk about other games. Um, I would say, I, I mean, if you have kids, if you have kids, don't get them a game. Don't get them an Xbox. Don't get them a Xbox. <laughs> but the woman maced over the game. Come on. <laughs> no, no, no. Get them a bike or a baseball glove. Uh... I, you know, I, 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 I will actually agree with that one. Uh, it... <laughs> I, I, let, me, let, me, let me explain, because my kids are not very... They're computer savvy, but the majority of their time is not spent on computers. My kids love to play outside for toys. It was a way I, you know, I, I, I feel that when you're so engrossed and you let your kids get so engrossed in something, a world that is predetermined, which games are, the lack of imagination. And, and you know, my kids prefer Nerf guns and, and baseballs and bikes and, I think that that, that I, 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 I do have to put a qualifier on that. I, I speak from experience. Do not give kids. This is, I, I made the mistake of doing this. They weren't my kids, but son. Do not give 
kids that live in the sardine can apartment projectile weapons. Oh, come on, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> but, but the thing of it is, is that you know, I find many of us parents sometimes get complacent. We utilize technology to offset the time we don't. We, we that we would like peace and quiet, which I understand. It's we we appreciate our peace and quiet. But when you buy that baseball glove, or you buy the rollerblades, or you buy the bicycle, it obligates us as parents also to spend a lot more time with our kids doing something else. Because other other than oh, it's the Xbox or it's the PlayStation, blah blah blah, blah you are stuck. You know, you, you're doing a lot more interactivity uh, that I found and I observed. So I think that's a great thing. Um, uh, you know, for the better half of those of you that have the better half, um, good gift. And if you don't, and, there's still time. <laughs> uh, good gifts. In all the women I have ever dated, jewelry is always number one. It's just number one. Um, but that is too not, that, that is too specific of a thing. For your better half, the best way to surprise a, a, a female is to do the unexpected, because females love to, to think that, that they have us males entirely mapped out. <laughs> and if you can break that um, in a good way. Because uh, you, you could break it, they're extremely devastating. But um, to 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 break that trend in something extremely different that is unexpected would will, will pay you extreme dividends for for a bit. It, it, it's for like a hotel night or something. Sometimes a hotel night is yeah. If it's just the two of you, and you're there and you do something. I mean, it can can pay massive massive dividends. It's just like, for instance. Um, Let's just say that that you have a party plan or something like that, and you break it all of a sudden, like you just show up and, and, and spontaneously go to some place that you spoke about would be nice to go to, and like in some past conversation, you actually do it on the spur, even regardless of the or organizational arguments that may ensue. Um, if you just say. If you sue it and say, "Look, we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it," she will back down and actually become very enjoyable. Right. Just trust me, it works. Uh, I, I, I I'll take your word for it as an older bloke who's currently married, but I thought I have seen that particular one backfire big time. This, this male makes it an argument. I said, "Just," I said, "Don't argue." <laughs> Just to say, hey, let's go with it. Remember, just, just, just go with it. Because if you argue it, then you're combating her. She wants you still to be in control. But, in, but not in, in control to a point where you insult her. That's the big difference that a lot of us screw up on. Now, um, if, you're, if, you, if, you're, if your cell phone contract is up, don't buy it yourself. Oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, no. I I, I, I I hate to advocate, you know, but but no, right? No, right now, no. Yeah, no, it's not now. Not the time. Um, if you're still on Windows XP, go to Windows Seven. <laughs> or take a look at Linux, and if you must, yeah, I, OS Ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer. Uh, I prefer I you. If you're already going to pretend, a MacBook Air that I think right now is a good choice. Um, it used to be, but it, it's a good choice now. I still say if you're intrigued by the tablets, I don't think a tablet is all oh, that it's cut out to be. It is still very much a faddish thing. Um, use the desktop for now. Uh, I, 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 I have to put a qualifier on that. Looking best. 50-50 and the reason I say that that's is, a large percent oh, no no but the reason I say that is because um, even though they're not desktop replacements at this point 
slates are there. There are cheapy slates on the market. Uh, you're gonna have a hard time getting a cheapy but iPad. Can I, yeah, sure. Wait a minute. Let's argue in pursuit of, 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 a, of a gift. Why would they want it if they can do something? You know what I'm saying? It's like, what's a good gift? Okay, buy something that may suit you on a lower percent, marginal percent, that you may have to say, I'm going to give up this, 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 and this in order to use it. Uh, that, that's the way I'm looking at it. Oh, the, 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 here's the reason I'm saying that. If you're giving it to somebody who already has all the computers they need, giving oh. them a slate is, a, is something they don't have. And if they'll, and if, and it, it, why it will largely be an augmentation toy. If there's somebody who will use it, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And I say that because, you know, if they just, if, and you all know the people I'm talking about, they go and buy everything they want themselves. They would never buy the slate for themselves, but they would use it. And that, that, and in that case, that's the better bet because they've bought the computer they want. You you right. will never <laughs> the slate on the other hand they never buy for themselves but they would use. Now the best Christmas gift you can give someone is cash. <laughs> okay. You think you think it's funny? It's true. The best Christmas gift people are like oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? Go to the bank. Ask for the crispest and stiffest bill. Hmm. Actually, I do that. I give out two dollar bills. Yeah. yeah. Go. Go get like. Go get like brand new two dollar bills. Things wind up lighter on the other end. Ah. Don't make it. Uh, I know there's a lot of mail fraud. Believe me, because I know that somebody who actually works in the criminal division of mail fraud. So. And, and, uh, and the problem is, it's difficult to prosecute. Don't do gift cards. Oh God. Oh no, heaven no, especially since, you know, th this is the thing most people don't realize about gift cards. Most of the gift cards now are time bombs. Yes. In that if they I don't get... Money makers for the, for yeah, time. basically you give the money to the store and the person never gets it because the longer it sits around, basically the store says, well now the gift card's this much smaller, this much smaller, this much smaller, this much smaller. Basically... Yeah, no. If you're gonna give yada yada, give cash. <laughs> give cash. I don't, again, I don't give a shit what your ethics are and all this other stuff. Ask yourself, who wrote these ethics? Who wrote that it's taboo to give cash? Who wrote that it's, oh, you're not putting much effort into a gift by giving cash? Or, oh, how uncouth it is. Throw those things away. Because the person that opens it up and sees the cash... You go, God, you are 
person in the world. Well, that's also taboo to do. <laughs> it's in poor taste. <laughs> so, don't live by restrictive rules. Get presents that people actually want. How about that? And if you don't know what they want, that's okay. Cash. <laughs> that is the universal gift of all time. And, and you know what? You now have the perfect excuse. But until, until Google Wallet gets with the banks and does away with it, and then we'll just have a Google yeah, Wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you'll get a Google Wallet <laughs> credential. <laughs> and, and you know, he, 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 he's right to say dress it up because... Oh, I sent you an e-PayPal card. Just doesn't have the same thought. <laughs> yeah, go to the bank and make it crisp. That's the effort you put into the gift. That right there, just man, when you open it up and they and they pull that bill and it's so stiff, you know, it makes that shh, and it comes up below. It's all over. Game over. You have just given them the best gift. Well, and, and and depending how much you're gonna give, if you're gonna give a small amount of cash. I, I recommend you put like some thought into it by asking for something like the two dollar bills or something because those yeah. are they're pretty, they they really are. For those of you who haven't seen two dollar bills, oh yes, I forgot the biggest thing I like to go and give cash. I don't want them to know how cheap I am. You know, because if you give me, they give me five bucks or whatever. Yeah, like whatever. This way, if you give them a five dollar gift. It's going to sit in the You know what? And, and, it's not, and they're not going to give you a second thought in the world. How uh, uh, you, you, you know, uh, honestly, I, I have made that art. I, I, I made that argument when it comes to family get togethers and stuff because you, you know when you do like white elephant gifts and stuff it's like well we don't want anybody to fill out a place so the gift can't cost more than x so then everybody runs around like a chicken with their head cut off trying not to buy crap for that dollar amount and you know what <laughs> I forget how it started but it became a running trend for about five years at one point that there was always a gift down there of cash. Just because it's like, I couldn't find anything. Here's the cash. Just buy what you want. Like, and ironically, that's the one that got fought over the most. Like, I'll take the cash. You know, I, I, if, if you give them five bucks, they might be looking and go, okay, five bucks, but guess what? They're going to put it to good use. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go to far more use than that five dollar damn gift you just gave and they're going to remember that $5 when they spend it. Oh, I have the $5 in my wallet. <laughs> Trust me, that memory is going to hit them far faster and far more effectively than that piece of shit I already gift you just gave them that's sitting on some goddamn shelf. <laughs> mm. I'm trying to think of another gift that would be good. It's like we covered yeah, tech, yeah, we covered sentiment. Like we covered. Yes, yeah, I keep my pointers. So what's your point? Ugh. I, I, I on the I, I, if you're gonna do the cash, the tiny, if you're gonna do a small amount, yeah, do the pretty build. If you're gonna do a large amount, uh, my suggestion. Yeah, it doesn't matter how wrinkly it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, no. Well, no, I, I give you an example. Like you were saying, presentation. Uh, if yeah. you're gonna do a hundred dollars, go. Go get one of those. Don't, not, don't just go get a hundred dollar bill. Insist the bank give you one of those brand new hundred dollar bills that are kind of orange. Ones. That's what I'm saying, crisp. Yeah. Because yeah, well, no, they can give you brand new crisp ones that are the old hundred dollar bills. Because they oh, just okay. they just changed them this year in spring. Yeah, so okay. so yeah, but the new one they, they they just changed the bills this year where they they now look like all the other funny monopoly money we have, uh, but they're. They're pretty in their own way. Um, I, I made I made my critique, your son, on the on the slate thing. Uh, for non technological stuff, uh, there is one exception I would suggest uh, where gift cards are okay, and that is uh, either Amazon or iTunes, because if if you know they like downloading iTunes stuff, is good. you're right because there's no hidden fee. Right, and that yeah, doesn't go okay. away. Yeah, the absolutely. credit's good forever. So if, if somebody's a hardware fanatic, 
uh, and you know they go to like Tiger Direct or um, New Egg, you know, those are also okay. Those are the only exceptions for gift cards because it, if, it, but again, pick the one that you know they're right, you know. Don't yeah, go. Yeah, because I, yeah, iTunes, you're right, man. They don't play around, get to use credits. It's, yeah, and if they're a Linux user, Amazon is fine because that integrates into a lot of stuff on Linux. You know, just, just pick the right one for whatever, whoever they are. Um, uh, uh, as honestly, if somebody's a TV fanatic, I would recommend something like a Roku or something, uh, just because it lets them kind of get away from their computer and get that stuff on the TV and uh, yada yada. Maybe I'm not suggesting everybody ditch their cable, but it, they're they're cheap. It's like a it's like a fifty dollar gift. It's it's not a bank breaker. Um, something else that, uh, you know, the, you, you've covered the family, you know, Sean, so I'm not gonna go into that stuff. Uh, however, uh, if you don't have kids, you know, just the girlfriend, yada, yada, honestly, one of the best things you can do is just, um, have basically a long prolonged uh, many day you know just basically have a festive day which if you do it right will lead to a very nice night <laughs> uh, <laughs> in, other words, in other words pay attention to her oh yes it, it, yes entirely yes. I know what you're getting <laughs> it's, it's, sacrifice for the day uh, trust trust it's worth it <laughs> Yes. That's right. If they have to tell us, it doesn't count. That's right. It, you have to understand we're supposed to have ESP uh, and you know try to fake it the best you can. Is, is, is in essence what it is. So you need to. But what Russ is getting at is is you give up everything you want to do for that one day and just you do it with her. You already. Without her having to tell you, just do it. And, and pays massive dividends. Yeah. Uh, trying to think. Anything else would be good here, Sean? You know, I, I, you know what? One of the best gifts everybody can give everybody right now um, goes to what uh, Marcel was indirectly talking about before, and that is mutual respect for everybody. You know, it. it, it it's the holidays, people. This is not the. Do not rub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what. I don't give a shit what your religious base is. If it's secular or freaking from Jesus or wherever the hell it comes from. Yeah. Why do we need to look at it? If it, it you know what? If your intention is. And you're an atheist and your intentions are to be nice to somebody. And it's, it happens to be at this time of the year. And well, and, uh, and, and, I, and I'm referring to the reverse of that trip. You know, you know, if, if somebody wishes you a happy greeting, whatever it is, you know, knock that chip. If, if it's not your greeting, knock that chip off your shoulder and take the compliment. Compliment back. You know. Yeah, hey, exactly. We're paying you a compliment. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and you, you well said, that. That's exactly right. You know, Mike, you, you already know. I, you're, most of you know. My wife is, is Catholic. I'm Jewish. We have very good, different philosophies, but she is so cool in, in it when. It's, it's like when she says, it's like, look, I am ardently not for the whole Bible of Jesus thing. But the cool thing that I do like to see is that people are nice to each other of all faiths. From my Muslim friends, my atheist friends, my agnostic friends. People that my friends seem to over they and, and I like them. they forget the the, the strident positions that they have and I don't care they don't care the roots. It's they're gonna be nice, they're gonna they're given gifts. It doesn't have to be for in Jesus' name or Santa even Santa's name, you know what I mean? It's just being nice to each other, man. And well, I, 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 
If you're in a household that believes in Santa, and I say I stress if because that isn't every oh, household. Say they don't believe in no, 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 no. I, well, and, and some households deliberately cut Santa out of the household because they don't want well, Santa in the house. Well, if then they're probably a very strong Christian. Yeah, I, I know, and that's why I'm putting the qualifier on this one. If you're in a in a Santa house, a fun thing any family uh, can do is. Uh, Flood is just have little surprise uh, Santa gifts. They just little small, basically of benefit to everybody gifts. Yes, Santa brings you're, stuff you're for the kid. From experience, so I, 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 I let you, let yeah. you tell the whole thing on that because that to me seems like your premise right there is very specific to it. Uh, yeah, b basically just things to make the whole. Um, season, day, whatever uh, you're, you're, you're celebrating just better. You know, basically come up with surprise things uh, you know, that will make fun things throughout the day and those are the Santa gifts and they're just, they're, basically they're, they're an excuse for everybody to get in the mood and, and uh, be festive and whatever. You know, depending on who you're celebrating the holidays with and so on it's going to depend what that is, but there, it, it's basically. Oh, I don't know who brought it. it must have been, you know, it, it was Santa did it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it, 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 it's a great advice. I think that I, I love that you said that because I think you know you're you're coming up with this. It doesn't matter the reason. It, if we pick an arbitrary day where we choose to be nice to them, whatever freaking reason it is to each other, I think it's well worth it. Oh, uh, and like I said, it's like people, it, because that's the thing that does annoy me about this. People just start, they, they start living to get offended. Well, you, 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 no, no. No. <laughs> no, do not do that. What? <laughs> you know, it's, I'll make an analogy. Here's a Star Trek analogy. Deep Space Nine is an episode, I believe, where, where Captain Sisko is indifferent to, like, it's a Holocene program? Of, of Las Vegas in the 1960s. And this housing program has an artificial intelligence that is very human like. It's unique. In, in other words, that this. Uh, God, I forget the name. But, but like, this Vic. housing program. Huh? Vic. Vic. Uh, yeah. He's like very Sinatra like, right? He's like a. Yeah. Singer, right? Yeah. And, 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 and he's like he's, he's computer generated and the characters give him life by believing in him because he is truly unique anyway uh, Cisco uh, Cisco right? he's Captain Cisco Cis Cisco has an issue with participating in this, this, the, the program this artificial intelligence is in jeopardy of dying or something but what I'm getting at, if you guys are still with us, is that um, Captain Cisco, and here's the analogy, he's black, and he says, I, I think this is silly that my senior staff is wanting to save this computer program because Las Vegas in the 1960s and 1962 was very anti-black. And even though it was programmed right then and there to ignore alien-like features and ignore color, it bothered him that it, it, it very much bothered him because he, he, was, he was not wanting to forget what the pain and suffering was uh, for black races, especially in how they were treated in Las Vegas in the early 60s and, and how the civil rights movement and, the, and how the civil rights movement was building even in 1962. But, in the end of the day, he participates to save this artificial intelligence. Because his fiance at the time, who's, who's also black, and understands his position, is saying this is a very good thing and also separate from your original, very worthy, incredible ideological roots to, to, to what is causing your grievance with but can you see past it? Because it is actually a very different thing. It is a changed thing. Come and help us save this artificial intelligence. 
In the end, he does. And he participates in, in the, uh, uh, I don't know what the hell they do. They, they, they enter it. They, uh, they I, it I'm, I'm not yeah. sure what that has to do with the holidays. What it has to do with the holidays <laughs> is that the holidays are founded in their, in, 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 whether they're atheist or Christian, they have hardened roots in philosophical, do they not? That make arguments, which you just said, against why they do, they do not wish to participate or we create an antagonist position to saying, I don't know. This is idiotic. This is idiocy. This is stupid, right? That is what we just we were just discussing. Is that we have these root positions, these ideologies, Captain Cisco in that, and saying what it really is pragmatically is something very different. And if it is a season of giving, regardless of where you want to argue the roots of, because in the United States it is a very secular thing. We have a secular environment that now reinforces Christmas, whether it's a, whether you're atheist, agnostic, or whatever. I don't care if it is Christmas or something else. If it's April 23rd, an arbitrary thing, it is nice to be able to be in a good spirit and say, I'm giving to my friends, I'm giving to my to my family. Or I'm, I'm, I'm giving up something as a gift for somebody else, as we were discussing before, in terms of having a better half and stuff like that. Well, I think, and and now I feel the need to add one thing to that. Um, it, for the same thing for when somebody's giving you a compliment, even if it's not your compliment, you know, accept the compliment. If you find a Grinch, I don't know what else to call those people, the people who are just going around, you know, it, trying to ruin everybody's day. <laughs> Ignore them. Move on. You, 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 you will ruin your day trying to convince them not to be a Grinch. Move on. Just ignore them. Move on. That's, they're going to be a Grinch. Let them be a Grinch. I agree with that. Let, yeah, let them Grinch. Right, let them Grinch you out. Go. Just give them a smile. Move on. <laughs> they can only ruin your should, holiday if you let them. <laughs> and, and we should conclude the saying, you know, have a great holiday. You, uh, you come from a Christian, you know, the Christian side of things, which it would be the Merry Christmas, Jewish side, Happy Hanukkah, which starts on the 20th, I believe. Uh, and every other thing, you know, have a great vacation uh, for those that, that happen to have no, no faith in particular. Uh, and have a great time with your family, whether if you are the estranged person from the group, make it make it the best that you can. And at least, hey, you're with family in the end, are you not? Um, and and if you're not, that's and okay. If you're not, too. Yeah, yeah. If you're not, uh, all our best wishes are with you, and uh, that you have that you have the best time possible in the, in the season. Or just PM us, and, and you can participate in a Skype conversation. <laughs> I can't sit one minute. Happy Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Yul. I think I covered them all there. I don't know. It's like, I, think, I don't know everything. It's too many holidays. <laughs> all right.